Hello, welcome back to the channel. Apologies now for it being so long since our last upload, but I think we've got over the hump of leaving it so long for a video. We have been trying to sort out a new tow vehicle, which I'm delighted to say has been all sorted now. As you might know, beforehand we had a Vauxhall Vivaro van, which was ideal really for towing the caravan. Didn't have to worry about the weight, it towed it lovely, there was plenty of room in the van to store all your stuff, awnings and everything like that. But it just wasn't practical for us as a family. Um, we couldn't all really fit in it, to be fair. So I had to find a new tow vehicle. Anyway, I did look at quite a few cars and I settled on a Seat Ateca originally. It got to a day before it was supposed to be delivered and I'd cancelled it because after looking at all the weights and everything like that, it was just just on the limit it wasn't on the 85% mark and I didn't really want to be worried about what was sticking in the caravan and all that malarkey so I did cancel it and have to start looking again that's why it's taking a bit longer on what I thought it would do anyway we have found one and I have bought one and I will uh, show you now what we bought went with a Ford Cougar and I know people do tow with these cars quite a bit and they are quite popular. I've never personally had a Ford Cougar before but I thought I test drive it, it was a lovely car and I thought yeah this is a one. So what is it? It's a 2021, it's an ST line and it's a 2 litre diesel it's a mid hybrid it's got like a 48 volt motor in there i don't really know um how it works to be fair you don't you can't control the little motor it just kicks in and out as it it wants to so you just leave it to do its thing really but i'll quickly show you inside and show you um what you get it is a manual as well I would have preferred of all I, but they are more expensive and I did have a budget. I didn't bother going for an auto. So let's uh, take a little look around the car. I did manage to get one with a reversing camera, which I think will become in very handy. Now I have had the tow bar fitted and I'm so pleased with it. You can't even see any anywhere where it is they didn't have to cut the bumper or anything so i will leave a link in the description of where i got it done and i would highly recommend them as a tow bar fitting company they are national i believe it does have you can swipe your foot underneath and it does open excuse all the stuff in the boot because i have got other jobs that I'm doing while I'm here. I will probably do that in a separate video because I don't want this one too long. So yeah, loads of boot space. The problem is under here, you can't really put anything under there because that's where the little, I think it's a battery or the, for the motor uh, is. And then you've also got a button here and it does close down by itself. Now moving on into the back, it is quite, it's got a, like a suede kind of feel, I can't remember what they call this, with leather on the outside and stitching. These seats do move as well, so you can come under here and you do get more boot space, but obviously you also don't have much leg room. But these can move 
if I can try and do it with a camera. These can move back as well, so you can tilt them back and have it lied back a little bit just by that button there. Uh, all electric windows in the rear as well. And you've got down here, there's a USB-A and a USB-C port. Let me just move this back like that but with them seats all the way back there's still plenty of boot space and there's a lot of leg room for the kids in the in the back as well inside the car you do have um, some more usb a ports down here there is a wireless charging pad there six speed manual gearbox which i'm okay with that i would have preferred of all i like i said um, it does have a electric handbrake there are some cup holders here you can uh, adjust these so depending what size cup you've got you can just move these in to the position you need them there's a compartment here it's got like a little tray that pulls out you can put some stuff in there it's quite deep down there it's not I don't believe it's a cool box or anything like that it's just some extra storage Oh, like that all the seats are the same they're not heated but they're like suede with a leather and a red stitching uh, you do have a fairly big glove box as well you got all your climate controls and what I do love about the Fords is the heated front screen especially this morning when it was really cold that worked a dream that did and let's switch it on so it does have a digital dash um, here and it tells you you can uh, flick through different trip computer and it's got eco behavior tire pressure monitor I think those front ones are a bit high, or those rear ones are a bit, they need looking at, I think. I'm going to have to, and it does take ad blue as well, so it does tell you how much ad blue that's left. You can also, there are different modes on this button here, if you press this. So we have got normal mode, there's an eco mode, and it just changes the, the screen slightly different color screen we have a sports mode as well and I think that's just a black black background with red dials if you can see that there is a slippery mode um, for snow probably and ice there's also a, oh no, that's a deep snow and sand. That does turn the traction control off though. I um, I did notice on the side there. And then I think we're back to normal mode. Then over here, this is your entertainment screen. It's got DAB digital radio, you can connect your phone to it. It's got Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay. It's um, got navigation and there's loads of settings in here that you can change. But one thing I will be changing though, is because on here you have mirrors and they auto fold when, that, when you lock the car. But I might toggle that off when I've got the mir extended mirrors on because I don't want to damage the motors on the mirrors. Um, with the extra weight of the caravan mirrors on there so I'll make sure I toggle that off when I'm am towing and yeah just your yeah, dual climate control uh, it's got cruise control limiter you can set all that and auto headlights and um, auto wipers so yeah that's about it really uh, it's got like a you can uh, Put your sunglasses in there. Uh, black roof lining with uh, lights to the rear as well. So it's keyless as well. Start stop button there. And then if we get out of the car, it also is keyless 
for when you want to lock the car as well you can just tap it and then it locks and then the same as when you go to unlock it as well you can just grab a handle and it unlocks as well carpets are dirty already look at that there you have it that is our new tow car really pleased with it lovely car and i just hope i haven't towed the caravan with it yet obviously because i need to get the tires done but i'm i'm hoping that it's it's going to do the job and it's going to be nice a nice vehicle to tow with now what i'm going to do is i haven't actually fitted the tow bar on yet the guy showed me how to do it when he came and fitted it but i haven't actually fitted it on so i'm going to fit the tow bar on and then we're going to hook up to a caravan i did go for a 13 pin plug on the car even though the caravan's got seven pin plugs on i just if we change the caravan in the next few years or whatever if we do like the caravanning then which i'm sure we will do then i don't want to be messing around with changing the wiring on the car now we're going to fit the tow bar to the car this is a detachable tow bar that i got fitted um only a few days ago i haven't even actually put it on yet so we're going to hook it up to a caravan i'm going to make sure the electrics work okay now it is lockable so when it's on your car just stick the key in turn it and that prevents anyone from nicking your tow bar so if we look down here this is where the tow bar is fitted there is a little just dropped it dust cap just stops all the dirt and wine going up inside your electrics pull down there with your 13 pin and your tow bar goes in there so let's get it in should be pretty straightforward <coughs> you just stick it in like that there you go bang straight away and what what we are looking for i'll just move the camera around that little green light there you don't have to lock it with a key um, it's still secure like that but I would advise locking it just in case someone does run off with it so what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up to the car test the electrics and make sure it all works fine here's a reversing camera but I don't know if the, hopefully the camera can pick it up the tow bar is there and there is a black line that's a dead in the middle of a tow bar. So when you go back, you can just line it straight up. Hopefully. I mean, I'm not gonna be the best. Like that. Let's get outside and check it out <clears throat> yeah that's pretty spot on like i said i never knew that had that feature at all i'm really happy about that let's get it connected up to the car and get the electrics on Back up we go, making sure it's bringing the car up with it, and it is. I bought a Maypole Caravan 13 pin to 7 pin adapter. Like I said, I didn't want to get the 7 pin on my car, because if we get rid of a caravan in a few years, if we decide we like it, then obviously the new caravan will come with 13 pin socket. Let's put this on and hook it up. So there's a little notch there, just need to line it up with a notch in there, push it in and then it's a collar that turns like that and that's it. And then these come out here and we just have to figure out how we're going to, obviously I don't want these 
dragging along the floor. Let's get these in. And they do clump down there. You've got these here, so I might be inclined to put to somehow tie them up. I'll have to figure that out. There's also one here. Oh, fridge. Lee. This will probably be able to wrap around a couple more times, but just for uh, demonstration. Again, I need to line the notch up. And then that goes in there like that. Alright, now we're back in the car. It should recognise that there is a caravan attached to it trailer connected so let's now let's put it in a reverse there you go we've got a little picture with a trailer and a car and every you, you can notice it's turned off the um parking sensors for a rear but imagine the front ones will still work Let's turn the lights on and hazard lights. Let's have a little walk around. So we have park light there. <clears throat> There's no lights down the side. And yeah, they're all connected, working, top ones. I believe, yeah. So that one's out, that needs changing. And I believe there's one out the front as well that also needs changing. That one there, the other one works. But this one here is out. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Look how dirty my car is already. That's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. Just thought I'd do a little video on our new tow car. The next video we're going to be doing is on the tyres. We do need to change the tyres on the caravan because you're not going to believe how old they are. I will let you know in the next video. If you'd like to see that, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and drop a comment. We'll see you in the next one.